Hey guys, welcome back to the first video on supercharging Naughty the Burnout car. So today we will be test fitting the manifold for it, doing a couple things, making a couple things work, and we are just gonna do the first video of a few. So let's get straight into today's video where we're gonna take the old manifold, old fuel system out, and mount up the new sick manifold. Here is the supercharger. It's a Commodore M90 supercharger. So these came out of Commodores like VTs, VFs, and or not VF, sorry, um, VZs and all that. So this one got a six psi pulley, factory throttle body, and everything else is factory. So this one is going onto my 2001 AU Falcon six cylinder and. We uh, have a custom made intake manifold for this one and it's going to make all the sick noises so first off we are going to pop the bonnet and get straight into stripping the old manifold off. So here is the old setup NA with a hectic pod filter so this will all be coming off fuel rails, injectors, this old intake and we'll be putting in this manifold that has been flipped so it's basically going to sit up like that and all we have to do is plate the top to make it fit the supercharger. So all we've got to do is take the filter off, fuel system and we'll be able to test fit that one to make sure it's all sweet and then we can work out where the supercharger is going to mount. Yeet. So here to get the top intake manifold off, I just cut up this Allen key so I can get that top part of the manifold off. So, come around. Just like that. So there we have it. That's the upper manifold removed. So now that is going to be eight times easier to get to these manifold bolts, but definitely don't need them if you're trying to have boost. I haven't done any drifting yet. I was about to go to a drift event and then Krona. I have that one. Did that happen already, that one? Benarabi, I think so. Okay. I'm sure there'll be another one. Oh, there will be. Oh, yes, it's going to come out. Are we ready? Are they BA or are you Um, They're BA. Okay. Mmm, yes. Throw it in the bin. Yeet. So there we have it. The intake manifold is removed. Make sure you fill the holes with your favourite undies. And it is all very messy and a lot going on here. But while I'm down here, I'm probably going to get new coil packs. Probably put them up somewhere where they're a lot easier to get to. Um, I did break um, a, a spark plug wire, so I've got to replace them. But now, I just have to test fit the manifold and see what it's like and then work out where I'm going to chop it to 
put the supercharger on and then once that's on I need to work out how the hell I'm going to put a belt on. So now that the old manifold is out this is the new manifold that we're going to put in so right now I'm just going to have a bit of a clean up and we'll come back tomorrow and test fit the intake and see what else parts I need so I've got to go get some more parts this afternoon to fix what I've just broken so I can get it going once we sort out everything but I will see you guys in about 3 point milliseconds because it'll switch over for when I'm back tomorrow but see you then. Welcome back to day two everyone and today we are finally getting to the good stuff. We will be test fitting our new manifold which is just down there. We'll be sloughing that bad boy on then we'll be able to work out where the supercharger is going to mount in relation of the belt. So going to get straight into it and we're going to put the new manifold on, put a couple bolts in, draw a line where we've got to cut the manifold down and then we're going to send that off to my workshop dude who will cut it do the TIG welding, make it all mint, and then it will not be long until we can get a supercharger on it. So, let's get straight into this second half of the video. Be sure to take your favourite piece of undies back out. They'll get in the way. Keep them aside. that manifold is on. Now, while I'm just waiting on what I'm going to work out there, I'm going to have a look at the factory XG fuel rail and see if that'll fit because these ones, their legs just sit there. You know, I probably could work something out and they might actually be able to just put a self tapper through there or make a mount and weld the mount onto there. But first off, I'm going to try the XG fuel rail and see how it'll fit but that does look pretty cool so as you can see here I've put the AU um, fuel rail back in with two injectors installed so then I can go here push them right in push them down and mark where I need to have a bolt to hold them down Right, so now I've got my two points where the fuel rail will be held down onto the manifold like so. And that looks perfect. I might just install all six to make sure it's all good, but that looks perfect. So I'm just going to do that for the rest of them, put them all in and double check my marks good. And then I'll be able to tap a hole there, put a nice machine bolt in there, and then we can work out where this is going to get machined off and put a plate to suit the manifold for the supercharger. Now that the fuel system is removed again, I can work out at what height I'm going to chop this manifold. So I think if you can see that chamfer there, I'm going to chop it right across there because then when I put the plate on it, it'll build itself up. So I think I will remove it and chop it so then it removes all these old stupid bungs that are getting deleted. So. I'm going to chop that now and remove that and then hopefully I can find a pulley that will mount up right there and if I need to space it out I can but that should be a perfect spot to put the pulley so pull this out chop that down and then work out a pulley system but I need to work out the location of the supercharger first so that is the mark I'm gonna come at it with the angle grinder and chop it chop it We're going to rip the rocker cover off because we're going to be painting that a sick wrinkle cover red and we're going to check the tensions of our caps for the camshaft. So, rip that off. You're on the video. You are. So, look at that. Rocker cover is off and it is still looking perfect. I'm not sure how well you can see the cam lobes, but they are perfect. So we're going to check these caps, bolts, and see if they're all still torqued up nicely, and then paint the hectic rocker cover wrinkle red. 
So I just checked the torques and they were all at 25 newton meters. So that's good. They're still perfect. Popped up. Shut up! Yeah, shut up. So the engine's covered up, rock cover. We are going to buy some brake clean from Super Cheap and we're going to try and buy an idler pulley for the engine to work out the mounting for that. So I'm going to take you on a quick trip into Super Shit, buy some brake clean, buy some uh, idler pulleys and a gasket for the rocket cover. So quick trip into town and we'll be back. Successful mission to Super Cheap. All the stuff is in the back and I'll run through what I bought when I get home, but we'll be able to make it proper mint now. Got all the stuff. See here are all the goodies. We've got a rocket cover gasket, intake manifold, a six rib pulley, gasket maker, and just universal stuff that I needed in general. Brake clean to clean the rocket cover. And I've got wrinkle red rocket cover paint at home. So we're going to paint the rocket cover now. How freaking sexy is that? Once the final coat's on, I'm gonna sand back intact four liter and the lines in it all. Proper sick. That's mad, I love it. And as Turbo Yoda always says, if you know, you know, it's not a performance car without a wrinkle red rocker cover. It's wrinkle red or nothing. There's no point doing any other car. Wrinkle red or nothing. Sexy. Now that the manifold's chopped, I'm going to put it back onto the engine so then we can put the supercharger on here and work out how we're going to plate it. So I'm not going to bore you guys with me putting shit on and off because it's pretty boring for you guys. So I'll just put a montage of the car and I'm going to put the hectic manifold back on. Looks good, eh? So as you may be able to see, I now have the supercharger resting on top of the manifold. So now I need to line it up using two straight edges to line up the pulley and then I'll mark precisely where it needs to be mounted on there. So that's it. It looks absolutely awesome. So now I'm going to get the six rib pulley that I bought from Super Cheap, put that on there, see how it looks and see what I can come up with. But it looks absolutely epic. Look at it. That is sick. So the supercharger is still sitting on the intake manifold, just chilling. And I've just put this belt on, which is just vice gripped on to give me a rough idea of where the six rib belt is going to sit. And I worked out, you gotta get rid of this ribbed pulley and put one of the flat pulleys on. So now when I get a longer belt, it'll come up, down, and under and over the flat one. So if you didn't have a flat one, that would just wear out your belt very easily. And had to do a bit of clearancing on that top hole on the power steering pump as it would have hit. And there was no other way around that. And plus, it, they already have like about eight bolts holding that bracket on, so it's still plenty strong enough. So now I'm just waiting for that to dry. That's taking forever. So. We will, I put the pod field on just for now, and I've got to order the coil packs and leads, so it's coming together slowly. So while the rocker cover is drying over there, supercharger is going to come off, intake manifold is going to come off, so then I can drill and tap the holes for the fuel line. So that's going to come off, then the manifold is going to be sent away to get the plate added on and then we'll be a lot closer and we'll be able to actually set up the pulley and drive belt properly, measure it up with a bit of string and then we will be very close. So this should only be two or three episodes of this build. Shouldn't take too long, just waiting on parts and labour. So that's going to come off and we're going to quickly drill and tap the holes.
So holes for the fuel rail have been drilled and tapped, so they're all good. Quarter dash 20 threads, so that's all good now. I'm going to take that in to get that blasted at work. And now, just waiting on that to dry. So I'm going to put that on, the rocker cover on finally, and then it'll be sweet. And then all we have to do is get that welded up for next episode. There we have it, fresh engine bay, manifold's ready to get welded up, supercharger is almost ready to go which is in the shed there, and I'm just about to test fit that again to see how it looks with the red rocker cover, but once this dries I'm going to rub off the red paint where it says 4 litre intake and the stripes, that'll make it look way cool, and I got the spark plug strap holders drying in the sun. So. That's the main part of this episode done. Tomorrow's episode, or next episode, whenever I make it, will be the manifold being welded up and the pulley system getting finalized. So there we have it. The first episode of supercharging the burnout car. Got most things test fitted, most things worked out. Worked out what we need to work on for the manifold and pulleys. Got that all sorted and we painted the rocker cover red for extra 100 horsepower minimum. So that'll wrap up the first episode on supercharging the burnout car. Hope you liked today's video and we'll see you on the next episode where we'll work out the rest of the supercharged manifold. So thanks for watching we'll see you next time.